their transition from DJ into production, it's not rocket science. It's just, I mean, if you look at the history of like DJs um, that, that produce, it's always a good transition. You know what I'm saying? It's always a good marriage because they know what rocks crowds. So you can say Diplo, uh, Pete Rock, Premier, Little John, um, or, or DJs that, that, that do this. But it, another thing, like with this crew, as a crew, what you get from their production is versatility. Their album is a reflection of their DJ set, and it all like coincides, all everything together, like the production and just them being like versatile and, and DJing. It all works together, like, and that's Ill Vibe Collective, and this is the album that you get. You know, anytime Ill Vibe asks me to do something, I do it. You know what I mean? Like, vice versa. You know what I mean? We family. So I did a song with Kanye Dawes, which was, you know, which is a friend of mine, and um, I sent it to her. She said, "Sure." She knocked it out. Sent the vocals immediately. Um, I wrote the hook to that, and she re-sang it. And I was going through like some self-reflecting things at this time. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes you know I'd be a womanizer, whatever. If you know me, you know my music. You know, whatever. I'm gonna do. That's what I do. You know, it's just self-reflecting. It's just um, you know a boy, a boys to men song. Like you know, just owning up to certain things and um, trying to grow up. It's, the song is like a testimony um, to that. So that's what the song basically is in a nutshell. Okay, we was at the studio, we was at um, Static's crib, and he played me um, a, a beat that Panic did. And immediately, like, it's always beats that um, that are so easy to write to. Like, as soon as you hear them, I did my, my John Legend impression. <laughs> and uh, laid the scratch to that. And then later on, they got Fatim to sing it, Fatim from Kendrick and John Robinson. So I already knew what the subject was about and already knew the energy that we had to match, you know, as far as like the hook and um, the rhythm that we had to um, keep up with, you know. You don't want, you don't never want the hook to be slower than the verses because the hook has to be the sunshine, you know. So you don't ever want to bring clouds on the hook. <laughs> I heard it, the progression of it, you know what I'm saying, from when it was a demo to now, to the master for project. So um, I've been highly anticipating it. You know, it's been like, I've been saying since October, it's like my top three albums. And I want the world to get it so they can see the standard of um, where music is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Raise the bar back up. And that's what I think Ill Vibe, you know, really, accomplished in this album. She said she wanted the big man on campus, right? But all she needed was a little day. 